Hi everyone, welcome back to Liberty Park Music. Uh, today we'll be checking out some very very basic chord theory uh, to show the difference between a major chord and a minor chord. All of your major and minor chords are actually made up of three different notes which is why sometimes your major and minor chords are called major and minor triads. Now you might be thinking, if all the chords I've been playing so far are only made up of three notes, why is it that I'm often playing more than three strings for my chords? Uh, so that's a pretty good question. So let's take a look at a few example chords uh, to see if we actually are playing only three notes. Uh, we'll use the examples of A major, E major, G major, and then A minor as well, so we have a minor example. So beginning on the A major chord, let's figure out what notes we're playing when we fret those notes on the fretboard. Um, if you're not sure how to count what notes you're playing on the fretboard, uh, go back to the introductory course and check out the lesson called Musical Notes. Anyways, for the A major on the fifth string, the fifth string is tuned to an A note, so that's just an A note. On the fourth string, th that fourth string is, is tuned to a D note, but we're playing the second fret, which means the second fret is an E note. The third string, it's tuned to a G note, but we're playing the second fret again, which means that note is an A note. And the second string is tuned to a B note, but we're playing again on the second fret, which means that note is a C sharp note. And finally, the first string is tuned to an E note. Now, on the fifth string, we have A, followed by E, A, C sharp, and E. So essentially, we're just playing three notes, A, C sharp, and E, just that some of the notes are doubled up, mainly the A note on the fifth string and third string, and the E note on the fourth string and the first string. Uh, the same thing can be said for the E major, so let's check out the E major. So starting on the 6th string, we have an E note. The 5th string, we have a B note. 4th string, we have another E note. 3rd string, we have a G sharp note. 2nd string, we have a B note. And 1st string, we have an E note. So for the E major chord, the only notes that we have are E, G sharp, and B. Just that some of the notes are doubled up again. Now let's check out the G major. Um, so G major, uh, in this shape over here, we have a G note on the 6th string, a B note on the 5th string, a D note on the 4th string, G note on the 3rd string, a D note on the 2nd string, and another G note on the 1st string. Now remember how I just introduced a new shape for your G major? Well, if you take a look at the new shape, you will notice that I'm hitting all the same notes as well, just G, B, and D. It's just that I use different fingerings to hit those notes. So in the new shape, once again, on the sixth string, we have a G note. The fifth string is muted. The fourth string is a D note. The third string is a G note. And the second string is a B note. So in these two different G major shapes, we're both hitting the G, B, and D notes. Now let's check out the A minor chord. The A minor chord should be the same thing, it's just three different notes. Um, so again, on the fifth string we have an A note, the fourth string we have an E note, the third string we have another A note, the second string we have a C note, and the first string we have an E note. So see how the A minor only has A, C, and E. And that's all for today's lesson. I hope I was clear enough on these concepts, um, but if I wasn't and you have any questions about any of the sections, remember you can always just reach out to us and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll just try to clear it up as much as I can through a text-based kind of message. Um, anyways, I hope to see you in the next video lesson. 